Hi everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this Kim Kardashian inspired look. This look was from the Kane's Film Festival event that she went to. I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette for uh, the bulk of this look. Um, but first I am going to prime my lids and then what I'm doing now is putting a skin toned eyeshadow um, just on my lid and a little bit on my crease just so that everything blends a little bit easier. First I'm picking up this soft brown shade on my Sigma E54 brush and what I'm going to do is concentrate the product into my crease and then blend it back out with a fluffier natural hair brush. I'm just going to do this until I get the color payoff that I want, but I'm layering the product because if you add too much shadow at once, it's going to be a lot harder to blend out. So work a little bit at a time. I'm kind of flicking the shadow up a little bit just to give a lifting effect because this look was very structured and very lifted. Next on that same brush I'm going to grab just a little bit darker of a brown just to add a little bit more depth into my crease. And then um, I'm going to grab this taupier dark brown and I'm going to grab that with my crown um, flat shader brush and I'm only going to put this on the outer corner of my eye and slightly drag it in but she did have a little bit more depth towards the outer corner. And then taking Sigma's Wicked Gel Liner, I'm going to grab that on my Sigma E06 brush, I believe it's called, it's just a little liner brush but I'm only going to line the actual shape of my eye. I'm not gonna do a crazy wing or anything. Um, I just want this liner down so that it conceals um, the band of my lashes. And the lashes that I'm using are by Coco Lashes. They're the 108s. And then taking my Lancome Waterproof um, Concealer mixed with my Lorac Light Concealer. It's the Perfection Concealer. I'm gonna mix those together just to highlight. And I'm just taking that on all of the normal areas that you would highlight, like under your eyes. I do a little bit above my lip, on my chin, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. But I really just want to focus on highlighting the center of my face. I'm just blending all of that out with my beauty blender nothing crazy um, I do flip the beauty blender over um, to the bottom half not the pointed half just to blend out the edges because there's no product on it So I jumped the gun a little bit and set my under eye, maybe, I don't know why I did this because I still needed to cream contour, but um, I only set the under eye area so I can still cream contour. I'm going to take Light Sculpt from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. This is the light palette. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my cream contour just a little bit more diagonal than I normally would. And I am going to take it a little bit higher just so that I have a little bit more of a structured face like Kim Kardashian.
first I'm going to blend this out with a brush and then I'm going to switch to my beauty blender. Um, I'm just going to kind of flip in between those two just so I make sure that it's quite blended. And after all of that wonderful cream contouring, we're going to set everything, um, which I'm also going to set everything on my face with my Laura Mercier powder, per usual. And then after setting my face, I'm also going to bake my face. This is just going to make everything last a little bit longer and make it almost bulletproof. If you don't know what baking is, it's when um, you apply your concealer and then pack on a powder, like a translucent powder. Um, I use Airspun and um, my Laura Mercier setting powder. And what that's going to do is when you pack on that powder, um, it creates a barrier between your concealer and that powder. And your body heat cooks your um, liquids that are in between that and it makes it bulletproof. But I sit for about five minutes or so with that baking. But in the meantime, I'm going to do my brows. I'm gonna grab my um, Wonder Brow. I really love this stuff. It actually does last a few days if you want it to. Um, I don't think I ever really leave it on that long, but it does last. This is the, um, I believe it's like the dark brown slash black one but I'm going to use this on my number 12 Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm really just going to focus the Wonder Brow in the front of my brow and um, I'm just going to bring it to the arch of my brow but I'm not going to use it for my entire brow because I'm going to switch to my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in Ebony and I'm going to focus that on my arch and my tail. Kim Kardashian had really extended brows in this look. Like, they, I swear they almost went to, like, her hairline. They were so long. But um, I just extended mine a little bit longer than I normally would have. And she also doesn't have um, a whole lot of arch. It kind of is just very structured. So that's what we're going to try and achieve here. And to achieve that really smoky lower lash line, what I'm going to do is grab that same gel liner from Sigma that we used earlier, and I'm going to put that in my waterline and on my lash line, and we're gradually just going to build that darkness, and we're going to just blend everything out and upwards.
the brush that I'm going to be using to smoke out that liner is this little brush. It came with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. So if you guys own that palette, you probably own that brush. But what I'm going to do is take that small liner brush from Sigma and I'm going to extend that liner just a little bit. We're not doing quite a wing, but we're going to extend it so that it gives that lifted wing effect, if that makes sense. So I'm using a very, very, very light hand with this. That's the key to extending that without it looking sloppy. And I'm going to take the black shadow from this. Um, this palette is from the Balm. It's the Nude Tude palette, but this black in this palette is the blackest black I have ever seen. So I always opt for that one if I want something really dramatic. And I'm really just going to set that lower lash line and gradually smoke everything out. But once again, use a very light hand when you are extending that shadow in that winged shape. Also be sure to extend that black shadow into the inner corner. We're kind of creating a feline effect in that inner corner. It's not too dramatic, it's very subtle, but she did have it extended into that inner corner. And now I'm going to take my Bahama Mama bronzer from the Balm, a big fluffy brush, and I'm not going to use a whole lot of this. She wasn't super sculpted, but she was quite bronze. So I'm instead of rubbing it into my contour and contouring with it, I'm really just going to pat it on the areas that I want to kind of take in and that I want to be a little bit more structured. Remember that we did cream contour, so that's going to be your structure and your contour, but your bronzer is really just going to warm you up and kind of give life back into your skin. After bronzing, I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. We all know that Kim Kardashian has super long lower lashes. This is the Lights Camera Flashes Mascara from Tarte and this is from the Double Duty line. It has a primer on one side and a mascara on the other. And then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics blush palette and taking this burnt orange kind of warm blush um, for my cheeks. She was more bronzy than anything. so. Then I'm taking this awesome, awesome, awesome highlighting palette from Sleek Cosmetics. Super inexpensive and it comes with um, four illuminators. But this one that I'm using is like the one that everyone's been raving about. But I'm really just going to glow up my face and we're going to put this on our brow bone and everywhere else that I can possibly put a highlighter. Um, but I am going to switch to a duo fiber for my nose because I don't want it like super, super heavy on my nose. I'm also taking this on the tops of my cheekbones and then above the arch of my brow a little bit. This highlight, you guys, is seriously so bomb and like, I think this palette was probably 20 bucks or something like that. It is from the UK, so you'll have to pay shipping and all of that, but it's so, like, inexpensive for how much you get and how bomb it is. Like, it's so good. Um, it is a little bit bright for me, so I am going to go back in um, with the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I have the Gleam kit. That is the one in the blue packaging. Um, but there's kind of a bronzy illuminator in that, um, and it's called Mimosa. And I'm going to put that like right on top of everywhere I just highlighted. I know it seems like a little bit much, but what it does is it kind of tones down that really champagne color, and it turns it into more of like a subtle bronzy color, even though none of this is subtle. I know we're all highlighting for the gods today, but...
after I'm done highlighting, what I'm gonna do is get my Smashbox primer water and I'm just gonna set my face with that because I want it to be very glowy and dewy. Then I'm going to take my two favorite lip products at the moment and this is um, NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in Mauve and I'm just gonna line my lips with that. And then I'm going to take like my all time favorite lipstick from Lorac, it's called Duchess. It's like the perfect dusty rose color that I use on everyone and it looks good on every skin tone. I've used it on super dark to super fair and it's also perfect for brides if you're a freelance makeup artist. I use it on so many of my brides. a little bit more dimension to my lips so I did put a little bit of the fair cream shade from the light Anastasia palette um, I just put that on the center of my mouth just to kind of plump up my lips a little bit and give a little bit more dimension and then I do put a little bit of bronzer um, right below my lower lip just to give the illusion that my lips are so big that it's creating a shadow underneath my lower lip but it does plump it up a little bit and then that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe on my channel so that you can see all of my future videos. If there's any other celebrity looks that you would like me to recreate, you can leave that in the comments below. And all the products that I use are also in the description bar below. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.